So in the middle of filming everything with my whatever GoPro 7 this is, badass thing, I got a message saying SD card error. And so now I'm looking at it and there's absolutely nothing there. So that's rad. So I've got my wire soldered into here, right? That's the main one that you want to get. It might be dark over here. I've got my wires coming out right here. So basically this is my wire, right? This is my wire. This side here, I'm going to attach it to this handbrake here. Every car handbrake has this thing that tells you, hey, your handbrake is left in the up position. So all I got to do is attach it here and anywhere on the chassis part. So that screw in there and it's good. Put a little spade, boom, said and done. So let's test it out. Plug this in here. So I'm using a G920 wheel. and I did make a full video on how to do an e-brake, but unfortunately that footage was lost. If anyone curious, I added that port myself and soldered in the wires. All right, boom. Now on here, you can see where it says handbrake. Boom, touch the two wires together, and you can see the handbrake go up. Which is kind of interesting that, to know, that I didn't know before, is it seems like it goes up slowly. So it's not acting like a button button, but essentially. So handbrake is working. Now all I gotta do is connect everything back together, run it to this, and I am probably gonna set this up to where it is up here, more of a pullback. Gonna set up a spring here, but I'll probably do that video later on, or who knows what. That's what's up, I'm gonna put this back together. Okay, now I'm looking at where I wanna put this e-brake. Got some light on the subject here. So, this is my setup. Um, this is where this guy's mounted to. It's not really adjustable, built it just for me. The seat does go back and forth. So right now what I'm considering is uh, if I should cut and re-weld some stuff, I was just gonna go with this handbrake for now. Um, being pretty practical about it and really wanna spend too much money. A, don't have a lot of work right now with the whole Corona thing. B, I just hate spending money. So anyways, this is uh, this handbrake actually came out of a Del Sol, which is what this uh, seat came out of. But what I'm thinking is attaching a spring to go about from here to here or anywhere in there. And that'll be what'll bring it back as it goes back and forth. And then I'll get rid of the button. Maybe I'll put a drift button just to be cool. Why not? Uh, if I get one for free. Put a screw up there, right? Oh, basically all it is is getting rid of the spring inside there. Regular drift mod. Um, so this guy down here, this is what's going to make my electrical connection. So all I got to do is put a spade on there, put one of my wires, ground out my other wire right here. And once this lifts, and that makes the connection right there, that's what's going to apply the e-brake. So basically, this only needs to move that little bit for it to uh, actually function. But you know, if you want to fill an A-brake, you want it to pull all the way. So I'll put a spring that can make it, or let it move. Um, it could enter to and retract back. So, just trying to be practical, I'm thinking what I could do is just maybe screw that in there for now until I can take this whole thing to the shop and maybe weld that on right there. Cut this piece off right here because I don't need it. That might get me through uh, a couple days or something until I feel like disassembling all this and taking it to the shop. I don't know, let's play with that. Okay, got a few things done here. Uh, for sake of not having to go to the shop and take this thing all apart, I just went ahead and screwed this into right here. Required a few spacers, because my screws were too long. Uh, but then, instead of going with the spring, I went with one of my wife's hair ties. Why not? So now all I need is my wiring, and I'll be set. Pulled out the spring out of this thing. That's pretty simple. Any drift car, any car you want to go, you know, mess around with, just always have a spring in there. Pull that out. Good to go.
Recording. All right. So here is my simulator setup. NRG steering wheel. Um, G920 uh, simulator Logitech wheel. Um, got the six speed, got the stock pedals, all the stuff that comes with it. NRG adapter. This is the Del Sol handbrake that I set up. Also got some of my wife's hair ties on there for it to be the spring back. Took out the button off the handbrake. And because I'm used to an upright position, I've got it there instead of where I had it earlier. So let's hop into a game. Let's uh, go get our practice on. Stretch it. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm going off the grass. Didn't get enough angle yet. There it is. Got that V8 power, baby. Oi. Orale. Little TV shaky shake, like real life. Oh, handbrake. Oh, sh more handbrake. Back on it, back on it. Come on, come on, come on. Third gear. Too much, too much, too much. Probably shouldn't have handbraked. Went the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what the terminating factor is. If I don't see the mirror, then it's not enough angle. Must see mirrors on both sides for it to be legit. That's a possible real thing. Third gear. Just gotta slow that wheel speed down. Fourth gear. I probably could have left it in third. Probably messed up there. All right. So I set all my gears to be pretty much a fourth. Um, well, fifth and sixth match it. Just because I have a dog box in my car and there's no reason to think that I can go up another gear. Totally messed that up. Come on. It's definitely harder to talk and not concentrate when you're trying to learn. It's all right though. Oh, I shouldn't have handbraked. Definitely the handbrake in the game is way more effective than reality. Not necessarily but of locking the tires up, but just how much rotation you get out of it. My pro car, I can lock my tires up, no problem. Um, but you don't always get that instant rotation. I'm a grass cutter. It's cool. It's cool. All right. Hey, that was weird. Ignore that and that. We'll get her back right. We'll get her back right. All right, back to full send. Okay, little little flick this way, little flick that way. Oh, the gas! Nope, missed it. Come on, come on. 
No. Want more? All right. Gas, 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 gas. Gas, 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 gas. Rotator, rotator, no handbrake. Okay. Rotate. Easy, easy. Easy peasy. All right, up the hill. Rotate, a little foot brake. On the gas. Okay, we're gonna downshift to third, slow the wheel speed down. I'm just gonna leave it to third, but try not to bury it in the red limiter. All right, got through there. Upshift fourth. Runner deep, runner deep. Let's see if we can do a little bit of manjian. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, we're gonna do a little flick again, right? Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. Oh, should have got on the foot brake as well. I mean, it'd be nice if I just could come in with some badass angle, but I'm not there yet. Oh, see, that was a thing that was like video game, just wasn't ready for that one. Man, video game stuff is so much more tiring than real car stuff. All right, I'm doing terrible. Doing terrible. All right. I'm gonna pause this.